Rotoscope Selfies IBIS Paint X Tutorial. 1. After downloading the app, open it on your device. Click on My Gallery with the paintbrush icon. If it asks your age, be honest. It does have ads, but just ignore them. 2. Click on the plus sign on the bottom left. If the app is new, you won't have any art in your gallery, but it'll fill up fast. If you are editing an image from a previous week, click on that image and then click Edit in the bottom right. 3. Choose your canvas size and DPI, or dots per inch. If you want to print it, make it bigger, 150 to 300 DPI. And if you want to use it online, like for our project on Canvas, use 72 DPI. If you make it too big to upload to Canvas for a grade, you can edit this later. 4. Click OK to open the canvas. You can pinch with your fingers on the screen to make the canvas size smaller. You can spread your fingers to zoom in on something. And now you have to orient yourself with the tools before you begin. Circled is the undo button. The art tools have a box around them and the rulers have an oval. Familiarize yourself with the tools. The drawing tools are found by clicking on the paintbrush. Transform lets you change the size and place of the item on that layer. Brush is what you use to trace and draw. Eraser is how you delete. Bucket is to fill shapes with color. Eyedropper grabs a color to keep it in the color palette. The brush styles are found by clicking on the black circle. You can use the locked ones if you watch a short ad, but you don't have to. Change the thickness with the circle on the slider. The color palette is found by clicking on the square. Drag the circles around to change the color. The layers are found by clicking on the stack with the number on it. Add your picture by clicking on the camera. Add layers by clicking on the plain plus sign. Duplicate your layer by clicking on the stacked plus sign. Six. Under layers, click the camera to add your selfie to a new layer. You can resize the image with your two fingers. Click the green check mark once the photo fits on the canvas. Seven, click cancel when it asks. If you want to keep the colors, you have to click cancel. If you click okay, it will turn your photo into a line drawing and that's kind of cheating in this project. Eight, create a new layer and drag it above the photo layer. To drag above the photo, drag the empty layer above the photo layer. You do this by putting your finger on the three gray lines and dragging it where you want it to go. Nine, trace the photo's edges with a brush tool. Decide on the thickness, shape, and color of the brush tool. Trace the photo on this new layer. Use as many layers as you want. Color your drawing with the brushes or the bucket tool. Check your layers often so you don't draw on the wrong layer by mistake. The layer that is highlighted blue is the one that's selected. 10. Pro tips. Hold down your finger to pick up the color underneath. Click the back arrow if you make a mistake and want to undo it. Click the eye next to the layer you don't want to see. This is really helpful to focus. If you are using the bucket tool, be sure to click the eye next to the other layers to fill in the shape evenly. Otherwise, it will use information from other layers and the bucket tool doesn't work very well. Click on the bottom left to toggle between the brush and the eraser quickly. 11. Use good craftsmanship and consider the principles of design. Make the brush size bigger for things that are closer. Draw more details on the things that are closer. Use multiple layers in case of mistakes, and to focus. Never scribble. Always do your best, and know that your best gets better every time you practice. 12. Delete the photo layer when you are done rotoscoping. Make sure the photo layer is highlighted blue, then click the trash can. If you need to take a break, this is a good place to stop. Click the arrow in the bottom right corner and save as transparent TNG. Then you can return to the gallery, which saves the project in the app. 13. Save your work before finishing for the week. After clicking the arrow on the bottom right, choose Save as Transparent PNG. Then click it again to choose Back to My Gallery. 
Check your device gallery to make sure the rotoscope selfie has saved. Since it's transparent, you'll probably see a black background instead. You can take a break now. Welcome back if this is week two. Number 14, this is the possible beginning of week two. Time to make the pattern background. Choose the straight ruler in the top right corner and select symmetry ruler. Choose what kind of symmetry you want. The grid is the best choice for this project, but I've also used radial symmetry. Choose the number of divisions. If you're using the grid, you'll have to choose both horizontally and vertically. 15. Draw the pattern. Start in the upper right corner to repeat your drawn motif in all the grid boxes. The bucket tool does not work for whatever reason, so you'll have to color with the brush tools only. Use good craftsmanship. 16. Finish up. You can duplicate the layers and use the eraser tool to make the pattern overlap the rotoscope selfie in certain places. You can create a background layer with a color gradient. Do not use the patterns created by Ibis Paint X. If you do, you will have points taken off. 17. Save and submit. Check step 13 to see how you save your finished artwork. Upload to the Rotoscope Selfie Finish assignment. You will not get a grade if you submit the artwork anywhere else. Do not send images via email. If the image is too big, edit the image in Ibis Paint X and change the canvas size. It's the last choice on the brush toolbar. Then you'll just change the DPI to 72 and resave and resubmit. Meow? Oh, I mean, bye!